What's up? You guys have been asking for this. If you missed the last drop, it's your lucky day because we have a new drop. December 25th, 12 p.m. PST. We're dropping six different pieces. We got black, we got blue, we got brown, we got green, we got gray, and red. This is more of a simple drop. You got the clean house logo, you got the strawberry park on the hood. Winter time, we're not messing around with the clothes. I wanna show you guys the quality real quick. Where can you find a hoodie that has the quality like this? Come on. Now. This is something I would love to fill every day. So if you wanna look fresh, then go to strawberrypark.store, 12 p.m. PST. So follow us on Strawberry Park on Instagram and stay tuned because we might just drop something randomly on one weekend because there's a lot of stuff we want to put out. We appreciate you guys so much. And I think this is a start of a cool journey. And I'm happy that you guys are able to be a part of it and wear the clothes that we're making. And I think it represents more than just cool clothes. So thank you and subscribe. Chosen by yours truly. Asking 100 women, how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? <laughs> My weight? Uh, I don't even wow. like to know sometimes. But like, we're Way. all human, I'm like. Just... But this is why it's crazy. Wow. Bro. You could argue that these women are fat phobic <laughs> because what's wrong with saying your weight? It doesn't mean that you're less beautiful. Well, that's personal. Yeah, no, that's a good point. You're fat phobic. They should all be targeted and attacked. Yeah, every time when they said, what's your weight? They said, <laughs> oh, you're asking about my weight. Like, ah, ouch. Wait, why? why? What's wrong? So you're saying if you're heavy, that that means so that's you're unattractive? you a certain number means that that means a certain thing and you're classified in a certain... Wait, are you, are you saying big girls are unattractive? Is that what you're trying uh, to say? The hypocrisy. These women, well, the ones who deny, who don't say it, the undertone with that is bigger equals less beautiful. That's what these women are saying by denying that question. Otherwise, yeah, why would I you have to agree? Yeah. Why would you dodge the question? That's like saying, what's your favorite color? Oh, oh that's too personal. No one would ever say that. <laughs> just the color. <laughs> oh, I just checked and it was 190 pounds, 250 pounds, 155 pounds, 183. I think it was 115. No, 135, 270, 240, 120. Three, 123. How often do you think about your weight? Every time I look in the mirror, every time I take a shower, every time I'm picking out my outfit. Every time I try on a pair of jeans. Whenever I have to buy clothes. Every time I want new clothes, because I need to fucking know what the measurements are. <laughs> So the girls be on top of it. Not a lot, actually. Not frequently. Oh, okay. People ask. <laughs> Sorry. How frequently do you think about your weight? Often. Often. Daily. Daily. Every day. Well, every day. Every day. Frequently. Seems like a lot. <laughs> like every day. Is that exhausting? It is. Yeah. It's terribly exhausting. How frequently do you think about your weight? Actually, not as frequent as I used to. What changed? Just my confidence. Since having a baby, I'm learning to love my body and accept everything that it has gone through. How much do you weigh? I don't know. I don't even know. I honestly don't know. On my license, it says 120, but <laughs> I'm more like 160 now. 115. I weigh around 320 pounds. Is that number 14? Not really, no. No, I don't care about my weight at all. My favorite, favorite food is ice cream. I feel like somebody that weighs the same weight as me would look completely different. I just think that no matter if we all ate the same diet, it wouldn't really matter. How much do you weigh? 130 pounds. One. Whoa. 30. Hello. Eight. Does that number matter to you? A uh, little bothering. It used to be really important to me. I used to be really underweight. I couldn't really pack on weight no matter what I did. How much do you weigh? 108 pounds. For the longest time, I was like just 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 pounds. So now I'm like, oh. I've got more hips, I've got more butt, you know, things, things that we've all. That number matters to me depending on the outfit. Some days I wake up and I like love myself. I look at myself, I'm like, ooh girl, you did it, you look bomb. And some days it's like, we're not eating for a year. You know, it literally <laughs> depends on the day. And that's just me being completely honest. Right now it's more about being healthy. I'm a type two diabetic. Oh, so Dang. I think about my weight as much as it matters to That's my health. That's crazy. Health-wise, for health, I don't think weight matters at all as long as you're happy and healthy, of course, and only wanting to lose weight to make yourself healthier and not skinnier. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Lost me what do you have one. against <laughs> Lost me on that one. Just lose weight if you want to be healthier. Not if you want to be skinnier. Ugh, ew. I hate skinny.
So then are you implying that you're not healthy now? I need to hear I that one again. I guess your only reason is for other people, like you want to look skinnier for other people. I remember. Do it if you want to live a healthy lifestyle. Well, I want to be skinny too though. <laughs> let me let me play this again. But don't you want to lose weight kind of for both you, for yourself yeah. and for people to be like, damn, you look good. Damn, mm -hmm. she look good, right? Like kind of a little bit of both. I don't think weight matters at all as long as you're happy and healthy, of course, and only wanting to lose weight to make yourself healthier and not skinnier. Wait, then she just shit on skinny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she did the air quotes. She just went skinny. Well, okay, people will do this. Someone will be like, let's say, morbidly obese. And then people will say, you don't know if they're healthy or not. Well, that's why there's body charts for a reason, right? <laughs> well, yeah, if you look at the BMI, if you check the weight, yeah, if you check the index of the person right now, they'd be considered yeah. obese. If Eat whole foods and be obese. active. 163 of just never moving, never working out to 163 active, and it just feels so different, but it's the same weight. Mostly I focus on like my blood pressure, you know, how my back's feeling, how my knees are feeling. I want to try to do what I can to extend my life. Because I'm in my 50s now, I like to just be physically active and healthy and just keep my bones and muscles strong. The thing that bothers me is when I lose muscle, then I get upset. I just try to stay consistent in the gym as well as um, just try my best to eat right. I think to me, the most important thing is how I feel. How I feel. The number does not matter, it's how you feel. If I feel good, I work out, I'm active. Can you feel good at a thousand pounds? And there's no way they feel good though. No, they don't. Saying be healthy and eat better is a crime. Which is why I'm telling people, yo, save yourself, bro. Like, this is, it's getting spooky out here. I'm active, and as long as I can do that and move my body, I feel fine. I just worry about how can my body continue to function? Can I do the physical activities that I enjoy? Those things are important, but how much weigh does that play into those things? How much do you weigh? Ooh, child, they put all my business out there. I am 247. How often do you think about that number? Every day. Growing up, I was always like told, oh, you're chunky or you're fat. Like I look back at my old pictures, I'm like, I wasn't even fat. What? I wish I was that size. I struggled with my weight. Whoa coming to terms with my body. That was really hard for me growing up in a family where my mom worked out two and a half hours a day, still does. A lot of adults in my life commented on it. Like, I got called names, like, all that kind of stuff, so I would worry a lot about it. How frequently do you think about your weight? I used to a lot when I was like in high school or like when I was like in sports. I ran cross country in high school. One of the toxic natures of the sport is that people kind of like glorify unhealthy eating habits and just in a constant mindset of trying to shrink yourself. I've struggled with bulimia. I had an eating disorder. I used to be like 120 pounds and it looked like I was really sick and it was brought to my attention a lot. Now I'm in a place where I just, I'm comfortable and I'm happy. I felt bad about myself for being overweight. Then as I got older, I realized I, I kind of actually liked it. I think that I look cute, chubby. I suppose that mm -hmm. I have been working on more. Okay body positivity. Definitely didn't crawl out of the fat phobia cave until honestly the pandemic. I think it was that year of staying inside and getting bigger and kind of coming to terms with my own body in a different way. I'm about 310 pounds right now uh, and I am more confident now than I was 100 pounds ago. Why do you think that is? I think now that I'm not trying to specifically have dudes try to have sex with me, I truly don't care. Now I just dress for fashion and comfort and what I feel good in. She said, I feel happier, 100 pounds heavier. She said, what, 310? So when she was 210, she wasn't as happy. Now that she's 310, she's happier. Yeah, because now dudes finally don't want to have sex with her. More power to you. Okay, yeah. Sounds good to me. That's what she wanted. That's long, what she wanted and she got as, it. As long as you're happy. You're long right. as you're truly happy. You're, you're, happy. you're truly happy. Yeah. Sounds like it. I can hear it in your voice. Now you know we've been locked up for a whole year. I'm 150 right now, thanks to COVID. Thank you, COVID. Obviously, we all went through a pandemic, so I didn't gain the couple. We're a little thicky thick nowadays. <laughs> How much do you weigh? I think I'm in my 150s, 150s now. At 130 pounds. 240 something? 179. 185. 248 pounds. 169.8. 152 pounds. Why do I know? I weigh myself every morning. How come you weigh yourself every day? Um, because I. <laughs> I want to know if the amount that I ate yesterday had any effect on 
<laughs> That's good logic. Mm -hmm. As of Monday, uh, as of today, I just checked the other day. Oh my God, I just swigged myself. I stepped on the scale and my scale said, bitch, get off. What's funny is this is all first world problems. Do you think people in Morocco have body images? Any poor African nation, let's call it, do you think that they deal with stuff like this? Where's the body positivity movement in Nigeria? They do that over there? I feel like the same people that say like, why are you asking me that? Like that's a personal thing. Are the same people saying body positivity, yes. be okay in your own body. I work in healthcare and have to ask people wait for specific exams. I'm always surprised at how many people get nervous slash offended slash defensive. It's sad. It shouldn't be such a triggering topic, especially in that environment, but it is. I hate when people say it's rude to ask a woman her weight. It's rude to ask anyone. Like, huh? If Am I tripping? Context, like if you're at a restaurant, you go up to someone random, like, how much do you weigh? I guess <laughs> you wouldn't say that, but yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, normally, yeah. you go up to someone. <laughs> normally, it's like, it's not that rude of a question. If someone randomly came up to you on the street on some bullshit, yo, brother, real quick, how much do you weigh? Oh, yeah, I'm just 163 right and, now. And why would you have no hesitation saying that? Is it because you're at a healthy weight? Is it because I never had any body issues or struggles or people making fun of me or things like that? There are so many people even watching this right now that aren't where they want to be so try to get to where you want to be because anyone's able to be in any position like we could easily be in a weight that we don't want to be at that we're not happy with mm -hmm. but we chose things that help us maintain this or whatever which I guess could be easier for us or certain people, but that's the thing is taking that first step and that you can. There's two people or three people in here that were just complacent, like they're happy with gaining the weight they said, or I look better, chubbier. Like, is that really what you think? Is that really facts? Is that really what you wanted for yourself? If you walk around any Walmart and look at people, very, very few, any at all, are in immaculate shape. Incredible muscles, great BMI, whatever. It's so rare. And it's because it's hard to do that. It's hard to stay fit and it's so easy to get fat. Yep. So why do you think that there's a majority of the U.S. is overweight or obese? It makes sense. Go out, walk outside. Wherever you live, walk outside and then look at it. Especially with technology, Uber Eats, Postmates, all this stuff. It's like, yeah. it's only getting worse. You could spend six months, you get a six pack and lose that in seven days by eating pizza every day. Like, mm -hmm. that, like that quick, mm -hmm. how hard it took you to get that far. And then yeah. every corner, so McDonald's, Wiener, Schnitzel, <laughs> Wendy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just that's the world set up. The cheapest stuff is the worst for you. Mm -hmm. The best stuff for you is expensive sometimes. So. And then they're telling you, no, no, it's okay to do that. And then people, well, you can't ask about that. That's offensive to me. Who's the only person in control of your feelings? You. So if I say, Rob, you made me upset. Well, technically, you have no control yeah. over my feelings. <laughs> only I have the ability to be upset. Yeah, exactly. When you demand someone make you feel good or you hurt my feelings, well, I don't control your feelings. Yeah. If I ask you a question and you get you feel some type of way about it, well, it's not my problem. <laughs> was there some truth to it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You could call me a dingus butthead i have to choose whether to be offended or not it's a main thing that people can't deal with they though. can't do hate it. comments it gets to them you know when it's like when someone says oh you're dumb online are you dumb no and it's different if you did something dumb it's and, hard and everybody's put it out there then you're like okay fuck okay there was a she was some latina woman who said if i insult you in a language you can't understand you wouldn't even know what I said. But yet if I say it in the language you can't understand, well now you're offended at it. Which proves it takes your comprehension and it takes your participation to become offended at something. Yeah, yeah, to decide whether or not I want that to affect me. Eat whole foods, move for three months and see how you feel. And if you feel terrible, all right, well then go back to the Doritos. Yeah, or unless you think you look cuter, chubbier than just. If you feel like you wanna be cuter, if chubbier is cuter than you, it ain't me. Yes. Do as you please. And I was just saying this to Rob a second ago. I've been wearing this for the past like two hours and don't even take my word for it. I'm gonna just say it. This is objectively one of the most comfortable and like perfectly fitting hoodies I've ever worn. Do I have a horse in this race to say that, oh, they're cool. Yeah, I do, but do not take my word for it. Put this bitch on, it speaks for itself. I can't even, you put it on, you're like, oh, I never felt a hoodie feel like this before. Objectively speaking, it's the most comfortable hoodie I've ever put on and it's so simple, sleek. Anybody can wear it, your dad can wear it, your little sibling, your kid that you just had that you didn't know you were gonna have it but then something happened and she got knocked up. Anybody can wear this. And even in the pockets, it's the same. Suede in the pockets. It looks cool. I'm talking airport fit. Out and about, chilling at the place. And you don't even have to get both of them. Even just mix matching their regular t-shirt with the damn sweatpants. It's too comfortable. This is XL. I normally wear a large. It's like, definitely not no small, skinny, whatever. Like it's got great space, but this XL fits me and I'm an L in pants. Well, I should be wearing the oversized, so XL at 5'9". You can even, you cropped it though too. Dude, any of your own 
style. We just proved that it goes with anything. But I would say they are true to size. You can't go wrong. L, XL, all that. Rob's wearing the XL. It's the XL. I fit the XL perfectly with the hoodie. I think the black ones are gonna go the craziest. We have samples, so follow us on Instagram, at Strawberry Park, and we'll probably send some out, so. And you guys get to be there. I followed them before it blew up. I followed them before they were in Tilly's. There's some people that have the very first drops. I think that's worth something. <laughs> yeah, hey, I ain't gonna make any claims, but I'm just saying. And like I said, it's versatile. Anybody can wear it too. That's the craziest part. I don't wanna hype it up too much, but it's like, you just have to try it. You have to buy it and try it. I would gas it up to infinity like I'm trying to do right now. Don't even listen to me. Just put them on. They'll, they'll speak for themselves. These pants are talking to me. These are dope. Oh shit, it just made that noise. My hoodie's talking to me. This is the hardest thing ever. Bop, 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 b